ridiculous. Hello, this is Chris from the Phoenix channel, and today I'll be showing you one of my favorite space mods, Galactic Craft. So let's get started. Eh. So over here, we have everything. I'm in the in the mod. So first of all, we'll go over some items. We uh, here we have copper ingots, which you can make a copper block. Aluminum ingots, one which you can make aluminum blocks. Metrotic, uh, iron titanium ingot. Dash ingot which you can make dash ore and we have tin which you can make many decoration blocks and here we have them in their ore state and here we have a new item in this mod which is the glowstone torch now here in this mod we have car carnivorous vines Slime leans, red, blue, and yellow, creeper egg, and their slime lean bag. And we have evolved skeletons, alien villagers, and sl sludge lean slimings, and evolved creepers. Moving on, we have um, the NASA workbench. With this, you can make all these right here with their vehicles down here. And each one has a different docking station. The buggy has the buggy fueling pad. Um, the rockets have rocket launch pads. And the Astro Miner has an Astro Miner base. And if you want to make a space station, you need aluminum wafer. Advanced wafer, I mean. Um, aluminum ingot, iron ingot, and tin. I don't really remember how much you need of these, but um, it's all of these should be less than 40. And right here, we have our ref the refinery. We need the refinery um, to... to to make fuel for our rockets, we need the fuel loader, which is goes next to the launch pad, and the canister to transfer them all. And for oxygen, we have the oxygen collector, oxygen compressor, oxygen bubble distributor, the oxygen sealer, oxygen pipe, sealable oxygen pipe, the walk, oxygen walkways, and oxygen storage modules and here we have everything you need to make power we have solar panels advanced and basic elect arc an electric arc furnace coal generator electric electric furnace and storage modules and also the wires on the catwalks also and we have the sealable aluminum wire block and the sealable heavy aluminum wire block and guys today I'm just going over um, the new dimensions and the items um, later on I will go in depth for everything in this mod uh, like how to set up an oxygen how to set up your oxygen or how to make your base look cool and here we have the thermal thermal padding you already know um the crafting recipe for any armor you just need the ingots for each of these and also to survive and not 
die because of the vacuum of space, you need the oxygen mask, the oxygen gear, and oxygen tanks. And to survive the cold, mm, you need thermal padding helmet and thermal padding chest plate pants and boots. And also we have grappling hooks, parachutes, and food. The grappling hook is cool because you can use it to climb in space. And here we have display screens. I'll show you the display screens right now. We have gas liquefier, methane synthesizer, hydrogen pipe, and the water electrolyzer is the first step in all of these. And also for our bases, we have airlock controllers and airlocks. These work with redstone. And we have the arc lamp, which is very bright. And will we, we'll provide strong light, large enough causing most mobs to flee away. We have the spin thruster to spin your space station. Um, this is what you need to sleep in space. And we have the terraformer, um, which will terraform any area on any planet. So right here we have the display screen. You can change which display you want. And you can stack these to make a bigger screen. And here you use it. And here you sleep, but it's kind of glitched out. And also we have the moon buggy. This is how it'll look like. And right here we have a solar panel. These will usually follow the sun. And we also have these things. If you're curious what they are. Um, it's an energy beam receiver. And these will will change depending which one on which side you put them. They'll be green if they're receiving and they'll be red if they're admitting. So for the f fuel buggy you need the refinery and you need some oil which you will find in your world. And also the receivers can be helpful, helpful since um, they can transfer energy from a long distance, but be careful, this may crash you. And here we have the NASA workbench. Pretty cool, right? And we have the short range teleporter. If you stand long enough in here, but you know, you have to know how to set it up, it should teleport you unless. The other one is not working. They are working, you just can't move. As you can see, they take a very long time. Now we'll take these for test runs. And the rocket we needed to go into space in the first place. Minus ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Like we don't need this covered. We're going so fast that our bodies could be smashed. Imagine the air going in there. 
I'll suffocate you. Real launches don't go this fast, or else you'll be crushed. Um. First, we'll wait. Well, first, we'll review the moon. I'll just show you guys what happens if you don't slow down. I'll just blow up everything. So now we made it. We're at the moon. As you can see, the gravity is low here. And also you would have been suffocating if I if you don't have oxygen. I'm just in creative. And here I remember sometimes you can find moon villages. But they're very rare and very hard to find. And here on the moon you will f you will find ingots, cheese ingots. No way, I mean cheese blocks. And sometimes craters will randomly appear. Let me try to find a moon village, and I'll be right back. I didn't come up to a moon village, but I found um this. This is what happens when a meteorite lands. It destroys the ground around it. And here in the moon there will also be caves. Creepy caves. So let me keep searching. I found the moon village. It's so nice, right? Let's see if we can meet some of the natives here. Hello, I come in peace. Don't mind me. Am I in trouble? Um, okay. The only thing here is there is no escape unless you dig a hole. Never mind, I got out. As you can see, they have growing trees here. And a well. And this is a good place to test our terraformer. Let's get a terra terraformer. Not 64 of them, but okay. And we need some wa water. Bone meal. And some saplings, I think. Let's try it next to their farm. So all you have to do is place down one of these. Put some water. Your bone meal. Oh, and I also forgot seeds. I want to eat these seeds. So, we need some more water, then we'll give it some energy. As you can see, it covers a large area.
we might want some more seeds. But as you can see, it creates a home away from home. So I'll show you when it's almost done. So as you can see, um, this terraformer is done. And look how nice it looks here. Now you have your own mini forest here, um, whenever you want, but you need a lot of energy, saplings, um, seeds, and bone meal. But look how nice it looks. And you can add a few of these glowstone torches um, just to give a warm look to this. So, oh, no, so I want to show you. Let's sleep here. We don't need a parachute since we're in creative. So, Let's invade some of their private property. <laughs> Go in here. And sleep. So I think it just brought us straight to night. I think. Now we can get out of here. Oh, it's just sunrise. And also, before I forget, let's go on the moon buggy. We need to put a battery in here and Fuel this up. What am I doing? Let's get a fuel canister. If you want to learn how to use this, I'll show you later on. So F for few. In these mod showcases I learn um, as much as you guys learn. Because I'm usually doing this. Um, uh, I just do this but I'm, I don't actually know what I... Uh, I know what I'm doing but I, I don't need anything telling me how to. So, let's drive around. This thing can climb almost anything. Let's see if it can climb a building. Yes, it can. I'm going to lag a lot if I don't stop. So to get off this, I'm guessing shift. Yeah, shift. And also here on the moon, you will find a lot of caves. And in some caves, you, um, you will find a dungeon. But they're super hard to find, so... I'll leave it up to you guys to find it and see for yourself but it's easier to find um, a dungeon but on Mars 
So let's get off the moon. As soon as I find launch pad, yeah. Final block and T minus ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition. Actually guys, since this is taking so long, I'm just gonna um, show, uh, show you the, the satellite. So let's create a satellite and launch towards it. So I don't actually know what this does, but let me find out and I'll be right back. So I couldn't find out what that blue block was for, but I think it just indicates um, it's the center of the space station. Oh, and I'm also floating into space. So this is why you would want the grappling hook. So you can just grapple back in. if I can get through so this blue block was yes um, as a center point for this so this is the light that will cause mobs to flee but let's test that Let's spawn in an evolved creeper. Hmm. What's that most mobs to flee? Oh no, there's also one more thing I want to show you. This is a very cool block and it'll spin your space station. And they'll start orbiting Earth. But um, this is not a good idea. Because if you're outside. You'll, um, you'll start floating away. No, I mean the sta space station will start floating away. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you want more tutorials on spacecraft like airlocks, um, air things, energy, and all that, um, please let me know. And see you all later. Bye.